hey you guys welcome and welcome back to my channel my name is mink and of course this is mink's kinks and y'all i am so excited so this is actually my first new deep conditioner of 2024 and let me tell y'all very very excited y'all know i have featured this brand a couple times last year on my channel they were a new to me brand they reached out to me and baby when i tell y'all i have been obsessed ever since and that is none other than trees of tresses so you guys have seen me try two other products from them i tried the um, hair craft deep conditioner which was in my favorites really really liked that deep conditioner really really liked it like used it up quick type and then i tried the hibiscus hair smoothie hibiscus smoothie um something like that and i used it as a leave-in that i wasn't too much of a fan but i actually do want to retry it as a styler and they actually sent me this new product that they have here this is the goddess deep conditioner and it's made with cashew milk coconut cream and greek yogurt so i'm very excited to try this of course it is cold outside and i want to get my hair all of the nourishment nutrients and all of those things so that's what we're going to go ahead and try today but first things first of course if you're new around here hey my name is mink i do a lot of natural hair lifestyle book and beauty content so if you're interested in any of those things of course go ahead hit that subscribe button down below i would absolutely love to have you guys here but let's go ahead and get into it because i'm so excited to try this goddess greek deep conditioner so like the other products from trees of tresses this is also eight ounces it is a black woman owned brand which y'all know i absolutely love to see it okay and let's just go ahead real quick read the ingredients to draw all of those things it doesn't have any bad ingredients no sulfates no parabens lanolin petroleum mineral oil it got the whole list of things it don't got nothing bad this is a clean product so it says it's specifically designed to help get rid of frizz smooth and lay down the hair cuticles moisturizing for low porosity and thick enough for high porosity girls honestly i'm not sure about the whole porosity thing i'm not sure what my porosity is if you have a guess let me know but i'm not really sure to be honest and this is another like dual action product so you can use it as a pre-poo and as a deep conditioner which is the same with the um hair crack deep conditioner you could use it as a pre-poo i want to say a leave-in or a deep conditioner i've only used it as a deep conditioner because i really like it that way but i know for sure that it would be a great pre-poo so it says to separate hair into appropriate sections, apply a generous amount of product and let it sit for 10 to 15 minutes. Oh, and you can use this as a light leave-in as well. And it just says to apply as needed. So I love that the products are multi-use. So again, this product was sent to me. So I'm not sure how much it is off of the top of my head, but I will put a price somewhere on the screen as well as have a link to their website down below. And y'all, I really, really, really enjoyed that hair crack deep conditioner so much so they sent me another one like a backup because I love that hair crack deep conditioner. So my expectations for the Goddess Greek is pretty high. I just went ahead and clarified my hair today and followed up with the conditioner that I'm using right now. If you're curious about that, I will link my hair routine. It's actually time for me to film another hair routine, um, but I will link my hair routine up above um, because I don't think I used anything that I didn't tell y'all I was going to use. And I will say with the combination I use, my hair is very soft. And y'all, I do have a warm spray bottle full of water. It was hot when I put it in here, y'all know. It's not going to come out hot, but I do have water just in case. My hair was very, very dry. It was in a wash and go for a week. And I didn't pre-poo or anything, which I know I should have, but I just had so much stuff to do. I was like, girl, not today. So y'all, I have been looking forward to actually trying this all freaking week. They sent me this, I want to say a couple months ago, um, but I just had so much stuff that I was in between and using up. I didn't want to open up something new, especially because these are very, very clean and natural products. They do have to be refrigerated. So you want to make sure that you're being able to use these up in like a timely fashion as well. And as far as consistency, this is what the product looks like. It's definitely thick, as you guys can see. The hair crack deep conditioner was pretty thick um, in the jar, but I don't believe it went on thick. And as for smell, this smells really, really good. It's very clean, um, like a nutty, sort of just clean, milky type of smell, which is from the yogurt. Like I said, I will have the link in the description box if you're curious about the whole ingredient list. But the first five are cashew milk, which is that nutty smell that I was smelling. I knew I was smelling something nutty. Coconut cream, Greek yogurt, oatmeal, and cedar alcohol. But there is slippery elm, marshmallow root, 
a lot of butters and agave nectar in here as well and y'all know one of my favorite deep conditioners from last year had highlighted agave so i think that's just a, a one that i like right now so again like i said i um clarified my hair and just followed up with a rinse out conditioner and my hair does feel very soft but it definitely needs some real deal moisture all right y'all so i went ahead and took my section and i'm not going to apply any water to this because i want to see how this product is going to go on the one thing i can say about trace of trust is that drives me absolutely nuts is that all of their packaging looks the same so i have to be very critical about which product that i want to use because all of the packaging looks like this and you really have to read the label they all are pretty much different colors this is a similar color to the hair crack but it's a little deeper of a brown color and then of course the hibiscus has that reddish tint so you know if you use the products all the time you wouldn't know but packaging and labeling is the same so you just have to be clear about what you're getting so i'm just gonna go ahead and start out with about this much product and see what it does i know y'all are like mint girl we already know you're gonna get more deep conditioner than that and i will um, and off of rip and off of application, this is definitely very, very gritty. So as you guys can see, I did rub my hands together, but there's still a lot of those like um, gritty particles, which I'm not necessarily um, completely turned off by, but these tend to not rinse out cleanly. And as I expected, the consistency definitely did um, thin out as I put it, as I rubbed it in my hands. All right, y'all, so um, that didn't really feel like much. It wasn't a whole lot of deep conditioner, but I'm going to spray some water on it, maybe my hair dried out in that time, and then, of course, y'all know I'm going to get more product. Yeah, y'all, so I'm not a fan of how gritty the product is. I'm not sure if it's just not mixed well enough or what, um, but that I'm definitely not a fan of. I love the way the product smells, though. It smells so nutty and, like, but not too nutty it just smells uh, I don't know I just like that type of smell and I will say I don't know that I would like this as a pre poo though it's not super thick I think that it's a lot of butters in this product which is something that I noticed in the hibiscus um, smoother product there were a lot of butters and I feel the same way about this because even though the product isn't super thick and consistency you kind of feel that heaviness on your hair where you're not able to fully detangle and have that slip because of what I'm assuming is the butters because it doesn't despite it having that loose consistency you're not really able to glide your fingers through so this is what my hair looks like with applying the deep conditioner and y'all i'm a little nervous i'm not gonna lie to y'all i am a little nervous because my hair is very very vol voluminous and y'all know when i put a deep conditioner my hair is usually laid flat um but this my hair is definitely a lot bigger there is some curl definition in there but again i think that i'm going to accredit that to the butters i think there's a lot of butters in this product i'm gonna grab the jar and read them to you yeah, so butters I see in here, there's Mifura butter, there's Argan butter, Macadamia butter. Actually, those are the three butters that I see. So there's three butters in here, and they are mid-length on the ingredients list, but I think they feel very prevalent in my hair. Um, despite having that slippery elm and marshmallow root, which we all know are super slippery um, ingredients in products, I don't necessarily feel like this has the best slip because of the butters like my hair feels very thick and heavy and that's got to be the butters it has to be all right so again I'm just going to start off spraying down my hair my hair is damp ish but like I said my hair is just in a lot of it's in need of a lot of moisture so I just want to make sure my hair will fully be able to soak up of course all of this product and then I grabbed about this much product Ooh, child, I almost lost it but I grabbed about this much product and again I'm just going to different parts of the jar to see if maybe just I don't know what happened with the grittiness on this product but I'm not a fan of that I'm hoping that it just will rinse out cleanly in my hair but it does um 
melt down into a more like watery type of consistency so you're able to put it through your hair and I did a, a slight finger detangle with my hair in the shower while I was applying my rinse out conditioner I can say I do feel moisture being applied but it's not what I expected at all it's definitely heavier than I anticipated I don't know like I'm I'm not really sure it feels very buttery and I'm thinking it depends on what my hair feels like because there's plenty of deep conditioners that I have that I don't necessarily love the application process but I love the results that the product gives me um, because I'm not 100% a fan of the application process thus far. I like the way the hair crack just like glides on to my hair. It locked on so easily and so effortlessly. Whereas I think the grittiness of this product already turns me off. But it also just feels very buttery in my hair. But this is what my hair looks like so far. I can say that I do feel some moisture being put onto my hair. I'm just very curious about how this is going to go down because again I don't know I just feel like my hair has so many butters on it and I'm not sure how I feel about that especially as a deep conditioner but I would be curious to try it as a leave-in but it may be too much as a leave-in child I don't know we'll see how this works I am going to leave it on for an hour or two like I said I'm just chilling today so I'm going to read a little bit watch a little bit and just kind of vibe out and then I will come back once um, I have the deep conditioner all applied to my hair. Even like my twists. My twists look very thick and very juicy. And they never look like this when I'm applying my deep conditioner. So I'm very curious to see how this is going to work out. As well as how much product I'm going to use. So I will see you guys when I get back. Okay you guys. So I am back as you guys can see. Dripping, dripping wet. And let me zoom in so that you guys can see the full thing about what my hair is looking like. Okay y'all so like I said I am back and I left the deep conditioner on for I want to say about two hours. Nothing too too crazy and this is what my hair is looking like. I will say I looked in the mirror very briefly and I didn't see any of those little chunks still in my hair. But it definitely wasn't my favorite application. So um, I have the jar here to show you guys about how much I used. So that's about how much I want to say that's like a third of this container but you guys can see the little chunks in there as well. So for application this definitely isn't a deep conditioner that has slipped to me and I really think that that's because of all of the butters. So I went back and I watched my review of the hibiscus smoothie and it almost feels like it was giving me that same way down very buttery very decadent type of situation as I was putting the deep conditioner on but I think that letting it sit for so long is what really did it because when I first put the product on it didn't necessarily feel spectacular like I couldn't tell which way it was going to go whereas after taking off my plastic cap and feeling my hair before rinsing it off I could obviously feel the difference in my hair so honestly I'm not sure maybe my container is just old like I said they sent me this a couple months ago it's been in the refrigerator though I know these products need to be refrigerated they do say that on the container as well so I'm thinking maybe it's a combination of maybe I didn't use my product soon enough I'm still gonna use it up because it y'all know me um <laughs> I'm still gonna use it up especially since I only have a couple uses left but I really think that this is a little bit butter heavy. So if you're not a big butter person or big oil type of person, my hair doesn't feel oily or buttery. My hair is left very moisturized, but that application was not the best. And y'all know, I'm always going to be honest with y'all, it wasn't the best application. I really think that they could probably smooth out the consistency. Part of my gripe was all that grittiness because I've had so many products burn me before where the grittiness is stuck in my hair and again thankfully I don't have any of that in my hair right now um, and my hair doesn't feel greasy or anything like I don't feel like there's anything left on my hair my hair just feels very um, moisturized and honestly I would even go as far to say as hydrated because I definitely still feel like I need a leave-in to like seal everything in but my hair definitely feels very soft and you guys can see my hair looks dark and I think it has a little bit of shine and all of that 
So I know we talked about this being a multi-use product. Me personally, I don't think I would use it as a pre-boo, even though it does have that slippery elm and marshmallow root, which we all know to be very slippery ingredients. I didn't find this product to be slippery, which, you know, is fine with me. I don't need all my deep conditioners to have slip. It's an added bonus though. And then I think the other thing, yes, you could use it as a deep conditioner, which is probably how I will go about using up this. And then the other one says as a lightweight leave-in. I don't think this would be a good leave-in. This would be a very, very light leave-in. It's thicker in the jar. Once you rub it into your hands, it definitely um, thins out and almost becomes like almost watery. So I think this would be a very, very thin, deep condi thin conditioner. But as far as the ingredients, I'm not mad at it. It's great ingredients. Now, if it came down to if I had to choose between the Goddess Greek and the Haircrack Deep Conditioner, I'm going to go with the Haircrack Deep Conditioner. That was my first product. I've tried from Trees of Tresses and it stands true. It's definitely my favorite product thus far. So definitely stay tuned for like an empties video coming up because I don't, I don't think it'll take me long to use this up. But definitely stay tuned to see what my final thoughts on this product are. This is just my first impression and what I thought and how it you know turned out on my hair today definitely not terrible it just wasn't what i was expecting it to be which you know is fine too so yeah you guys that is the end of this video i hope that you guys enjoyed definitely let me know down below if you guys saw my previous reviews with trees of tresses or if you guys plan to try them all of the things i'm very curious have you deep conditioned your hair what did you use i want to know and i will see you guys in my next video Bye.